We're not asking them just to be dancers. We're asking them to be thinkers. So I'm looking for people who can, inv who are willing to go on a very particular kind of journey. How do you discover new talent? How do you know that this talent fits to your company? One of the ways that we do is to always have an open audition and then open audition in a sense we open it up to the world and then um, with um, applications that come in we kind of select um, the ones that we feel would perhaps be right for this particular subject. How do I know they're right? We don't. We really don't. Um, not until um, we've embodied, not until we've had a shared history. And that means that we've spent time in the studio for a long period of time. Because the problem with auditions is, or any interview is for a job, is that um, you show the best side of you to get the job. It's not just about talent, it's not just about also a specific character. Is your work in the company also a possibility to spread the word, to share your view, to, Absolutely. to listen to others? to include that as well? Is a company a, a tool for that kind of...? I think more so now than it ha ever has been my company, for sure. And I think all companies have to embrace that. We have to do it because we will, our children will be left in the... They are going to be left, unfortunately. In the, we're, the, we're the first generation to know that we are messing up the world. And we are also the last generation that can do anything about it. That statement in itself is terrifying. So um, it's not just my responsibility, it's all our responsibilities. We're so hooked up on present time that we're not seeing the future by learning about our past mistakes. And it has to go right down to the top people, to corporations, to politicians, because they have children too, and money's not gonna save them. Mm. We're like zombies. The fact that there is imminent danger to our own species, to our children, the fact that we're okay, that we are, we are, we're still um, operating in the way we did before, and not going, hang on, maybe we need to change something. You're good at making decisions? I make the final decision but I'm never singular in my voice. It's all collaboration. I never decide on my own. I never have. So your advice would be also in terms of including all the people in the working field um, that they would enrich any team, any working situation, or what would be, if you, if you talk about it in a very pragmatic way about it, could be the benefit? Well, I'll tell you what was not the benefit. The, what was not the benefit with the older generation and the young generation is this, the patriarchal system, the hierarchy. So what I did was I made it horizontal. You are no less or more than me, whether you're 20 or whether you're 70. We all have a response, shared responsibility. You describe the driving force for your company when it was founded almost 20 years ago. So for me now the rules are complex. Take risks for sure. You're putting yourself in the unknown. Um, uh, and the problem is we're too comfortable. We know, we know where we are too often. You know, you have a house, you have a street, you have friends in that street. Everything is set, everything is structured. And the more it's, you feel psychologically that you feel safe, right? That's, that's our thing but we need to put ourselves in the unfamiliar place. Um, so taking risks is important. Think big and daring? No, I would say think small and daring. Why small? Because we th it's again the Western concept. The faster you are, the bigger you are, um, the better it is. That's how you win. That concept in itself is the problem. We're asking the wrong questions, I feel. So um, think big, no, think small. That's, the, that's, for me, think really minute. We're looking always at, let's go to the moon. We're not looking at the molecules and atoms right here. I think we have to rechange the way we look at things. Um, explore the unfamiliar, absolutely. Avoid compromise. Learn to compromise. What advice would you give to managers? What can they learn from you? Don't talk, listen first. <laughs>